A ticket to the Final Four is up for grabs in tonight's Elite Eight matchup between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Oklahoma Sooners. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Sooners should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Next, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Finally, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Up and inside. Trying to feed inside. Great anticipation defensively. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He throws it up from downtown. They work it around the perimeter. Unloads. Way off target. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He hits his first. Count it. Try to go inside for two and in and out. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. High post screen, gonna use it. And the jam. That's a 7 nothing run. Number 31 going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. Good. That's an 8 nothing run. Dumps it in. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He puts up the three ball. Drains it. The shooting guard gets the pass. Off the rim and no good. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The small forward takes the feed. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. They'll work it around the arc. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Number 23 with a huge jam. They look to get it to the inside. And Dick, this is... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The power forward with the ball. He buries the shot. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. From three-point range. Way off target. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. Number five takes the pass. Number 23 picks up the foul. First personal foul. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. The shooting guard gets the ball. Goes up for two. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I think did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Tries for two, in and out. On the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Turns it over. Bucket perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Now they'll bring it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He's got a nice shot fake. He pump fakes for two and off the mark. Work it inside and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Set that screen away. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. The frustration right there. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He's got a high post flasher from way outside. Goes in. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking for a good shot. Got a man in high post. Number Basket's good, plus one. He showed all the seniors supposed to play in big games, baby. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. And there they miss one. On the outside. On the low block. There he is, puts the ball loose.
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Off the rim and no good. the turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move number 31 is feeling great right now yeah no kidding partner when you have some success you start to gain some confidence three shots he makes it Second one is good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Third shot, good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Number 30. He gets the tough layup and a foul to go with it, Dick. Hey, that was awesome, baby, with a capital end. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Makes the foul shot. Screen there. Number 20 is whistled for the foul. Fourth team foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. On the dribble, gives it up. Fires away. Georgia Tech are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Number 30. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Number 10 makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark on either side of the floor, Brad. Routine. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. When you're talking about the Big 12, people often mention Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma. Yeah, Brad, they do. But it'll be interesting to see how or if the recent coaching changes will affect the style of play that the Big 12 is known for. We're going to move it around the perimeter. High close screen. Great play to take that to the basket. They're working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He does the sweet fake shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Jump hook from the low block. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He goes with a baby hook and in and out. the high pick he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier what's the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet up he got the dunk and the foul he went through that lane on a mission Brad he'll go to the line 
He gets it to go. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spin. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Way off target. Gave it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals a pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Nice pass to the low block for the bucket. It sticks. I want to see that again. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Picked off. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. For two, they still don't score. Nice shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Strips the ball. Gave it up. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Rebounds it. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. They're working around the perimeter. Here's a flash from the post up high. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. the dribble gives it up kicks it out coach looks on focus a lot of intensity a lot of emotion they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Up and inside. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. For the bucket. And off the mark. Drains the shot.
Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Look at that spacing. For two. And he missed. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He goes to the free throw line. Concentration. Got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Makes the second. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? On the outside, Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. They'll work it around the arc. Nice fake. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. From the baseline, he hits the shot. Intercepted. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. the dribble gives it up and he goes with a spin I tell you feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot wow what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Entry pass in the paint. Get that sucker out of the game, man. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Up and inside. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Two for one opportunity. Number 32 makes a great move to draw the foul. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. At the free throw line. Opportunity. First shot is no good. Second shot is good. 
They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 10 makes the shot. He goes for three. Off the rim and no good. Shot clock is dead. Defense doing a great job pushing the basketball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. They're working around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores it off the glass. At the half, the Yellow Jackets lead by three. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Oklahoma has allowed a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them have in a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. The shooting guard receives the ball, puts up the tray. Way off target. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. On the inside. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. With the fake, the power forward receives the pass. The fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. The power forward handles the pass. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. He shoots from long range. Trying to draw some contact. Got to make that baby have that wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy dudes. Working it around the perimeter. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. High post screen, so effective that screen. Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, Ethan? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Both shots good. A double team. The point guard handles the feed. He intercepts it. Oh, 
Number 23 is called for the foul. First team foul. He goes to the line. Hits the first shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Second one, good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. For two, can't get the shot to go. Turnaround jumper. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Let's it fly. Rims out. Jumps in. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 32 is pounded on his way up. Number 32 gets his first sweat of the night. Hey, it's important that this kid gets into the offensive action right away, Brad. He's got to make an instant impact. He hits the first shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Misses the second shot. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. it up he's got some room double team now bad angle he puts up the tray off the rim and no good number 15 is receiving a lot of support from the hometown crowd he means so much to the program he's a consistent performer and always competes on a high level the screen up on top. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Yellow Jackets are up by 10. Let's face it. Step out on that screener. Goes. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Fakes it. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He throws it up from downtown. Buried it. Yeah, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Control of the... He blocks the shot. They just keep shutting the door. Defense giving some room. He goes for the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. Picked out of the air. For the bucket. And off the mark. Time to pick up the defense here now. Number three. Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is crawl. visit the charity strike missed it he gets the board
has a nice look at the basket. He tries the three. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. They'll work it around the arc. Number five is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. They work the perimeter. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Top of the circle, way off target. Good fake. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. Picked out of the air. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from downtown. Georgia Tech are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He launches a three. Buried it. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. Momentary look from three-point land. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Way off target. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. Rims out. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 7. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. Going to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. They still don't score. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Almost lost a basketball. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. On the dribble, gives it up, looking for contact. Georgia Tech is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. The Sooners like to play a certain brand of basketball. Hey, when you are playing against these guys, you have to put the... That bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job here. Drawing the foul and finishing the hoop. With one attempt. Hits that one. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats it to the spot. He threw down that dunk and got the foul. You've got to foul him harder than that if you want to foul. That's what I call a celebration, Dick. Ho-ho, even the mascot is on the celebration. 
Number 35 walking back out onto the floor. He needs to get himself warm playing defense first before he starts to think about offense. No rebounding that. He'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Still close here in the second half of this NCAA tournament game. And, Dick, this one's really been a good ball game from the start. And it looks like it's going to go all that way to the finish line. Well, I really believe that, Joe. I agree with you, Brad. I think the last few possessions are going to dictate who moves on, survives, advances, and who goes home. Gets his second. Up and inside. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Gave it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Strips the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He looks for the bomb. He buries the shot. It's stolen. Fast break possibility coming. Leans in. He nails the bucket. Three-pointer. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Slam jam bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's a high screen. On the inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Rims out. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. It's good. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Number 44 looks to record his first minutes. He provides nice push offensively and defensively for this puck. In the paint. He comes away with it. And he'll kick it back outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. The fake. Moving it around the perimeter. 
He looks for three. He can't get the bucket to fall. Taken away. It's a fast break possibility for the deuce. Oklahoma are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And he can't hit the shot. around the perimeter with the fake and it's blocked trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing reverses the ball after having a guy in the post he shoots from outside I wish somebody would knock down a jump hey that guy had 1400 on his board and look at him running out there like a wacko <laughs> oh man look at that wacko <laughs> perimeter goes up for two perfectly executed let the replay show us the real deal <laughs> for the deuce sweet looking shot he is super he really is He attempts the trifecta. He drains the shot. They work the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That spin move not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to fall. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of play. Not yet came out. Who would have thought? Well, the cheerleaders. Come on. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. He dials long distance. He makes the shot. He looks for the bomb. Nice shot. Working it around the perimeter from a different area code. 
It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. And in and out. We got a timeout on the floor. And with that, let's go court side to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. In the paint. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. For two, off the rim and no good. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket, he gets the shot to fall. Floor. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Goes up for two and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Tremendous defensive effort, and that forces a five-second violation. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. For the deuce, the more possessions you create, the better your chances. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situation. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. Makes the foul shot. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. the most out of that timeout, Dick. The Yellow Jackets have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? He fires away. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Sooners wins and reaches the end of the road. These are the last road games of the season. Hey, two wins are all they need, Mr. Nestler. And it's all they're thinking about as this team advances to the magical Final Four. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler. Good night, everybody.